Hey guys, it's Josh. Today we're going to talk about AWS VPC flow logs and extra hop. So we released a new functionality that allows us to ingest VPC flow logs. So traditionally we were able to deploy in AWS using VPC traffic mirroring and getting packets, or you could use our RPCAP forwarder to get packets. But now we've kind of changed the game a little bit and allowed us to be able to ingest VPC flow logs. What that means is that we can be more agile in deployment. So areas where packets are harder to get, Lambda functions, RDS, other areas that you really can't pull packets from right now within AWS, now we can ingest flow logs. And the real value to that is I talk to a lot of teams and they, talk, they say, hey, we're not doing much with flow logs today. They're going to an S3 bucket or I can't figure out how to get them into my SIM correctly. We've taken that and allowed you to be able to take action with those flow logs. We have detections and we have device discovery and the same workflows that you're used to within XDROP. So let's get into it. First and foremost, how do you deploy it? Our excellent tech pubs team has put together a good document for you to walk through how to deploy and get your VPC flow log functioning with extra hop up and running. So there's a number of information here, get with your extra hop account team as well, if you're deploying this. And most of these are going to come with services with solutions architecture and others, if you need help, but this document is really good to get yourself familiar with how to deploy it. So I'm going to really talk about what does it mean? What, what do we have? So first and foremost, what's really, really cool is that we can actually discover devices based on flow log sensors. So that's so cool. So instead of us having to ingest all the packets in the cloud, now we can rely on flow logs that are generated for everything that happens in AWS. So that means a Lambda function, RDS function, something that's happening that we can't necessarily get packets from. So an ex example would be like, we have a Lambda function running back and forth, and we have DNS moving back and forth. So check this out. I'm able to see the Lambda function, the name of it, where it's at. And so we the cloud's so ephemeral that we can take the existing naming function within AWS from the full logs and let you see where a security incident had or happened or operational incident. So we're really making the flow logs come to life. Um, it's really, really powerful. Instead of just sitting in some bucket you have to sift through, and then we can see, all right, who is he communicating to? This is all pulled off of flow logs. And then we have some detections that we're actually pulling from flow logs. We're saying, hey, this is unusual. We have some database staging that's happening from a, a Lambda function. There is no way to get packets from a Lambda function. Now we can see that the victim and the offender here, and we can see how much data is being sent back and forth really really powerful stuff so we're able to not only see the devices and discover them super huge for security and network teams because this is very opaque data to them now we can bring that to life show you what devices you have from a lambda rds see what you're communicating with see all the devices you're communicating with and then also look at those individual detections you can then also look at all the amazon dns functions if you want to we can see that route 53 information so it's really, really interesting things that you can pull out and be able to start to understand and triangulate some of the complicated instances you might have within AWS that you're not able to pull packets from, or today maybe they're just being dumped into some S3 bucket or the security team's gonna get to it later. If you point those full logs to us, we can really bring those to life. And then we can complement that with our existing packet sensors and areas of your cloud and data center that where we can get packets at. So it's really, really powerful stuff. So, and finally, I'll just show you some of the detections. You can see we showed you database data, the staging. I can see that there's a Lambda function sending out data to an external endpoint. So this is stuff that's really hard to get through with cloud teams. You'd have to sift through loads and loads of logs to be able to pull this up. We're, we've noticed that this Lambda function sent out a bunch of data over HTTPS and we can see where it's sending to. So you can quickly see where you have those routable endpoints. It's really easy to misconfigure the cloud. You need as many protections as possible and made into your security layers to be able to adjust and understand what's happening here. So I can get into the detection card and see all from flow logs, Lambda function, no packets again, generated from flow logs. I can see this sending data out here and I can see the amount of data, super, super powerful stuff. And then I can go into that Lambda function to get more details about it. There's the VPC, there's the cloud account. So all this really, really powerful stuff that's allowed you to be able to get directly into it. Hope this is helpful. Thanks guys, appreciate it.